An image ripped straight from a nightmare. The silent eight-legged hunter, a living tank with fangs and venom. On the other side, a relentless single-minded army of a thousand. It's the ultimate mismatch. The age-old question, can one formidable giant stand against an overwhelming horde? In this epic showdown, we're pitting one of nature's most feared predators against one of its most successful conquerors. This isn't just a fight, it's a lesson in biology, strategy, and the surprising power of numbers. First, let's meet our formidable champion, the Tarantula. This isn't your average house spider. This is a furry behemoth, an ambush predator that relies on sheer size, power, and a potent venom. Its primary weapon is its massive chelicerae, or fangs, which can deliver a powerful bite and inject a neurotoxin. For most insects and smaller vertebrates, this venom is a death sentence causing paralysis or death within minutes. But that's not its only trick. When threatened, a tarantula will rapidly rub its abdomen, launching thousands of microscopic barbed hairs into the air. These urticating hairs act like tiny, irritating needles, causing intense itchiness and discomfort for any would-be predator or opponent. On its own, the tarantula is a master of its domain. It's patient, powerful, and built to dominate. But its biggest weakness? It's a solo act. Now for the army. Individually, a single ant is a blip on the radar, but as a colony, they are a force of nature. This isn't just a random swarm, it's a living, breathing machine with a single-minded collective intelligence. Their greatest weapon is communication. Through chemical signals called pheromones, they can instantly coordinate and call for reinforcements. When one ant discovers a threat, it lays down a trail, and within minutes a small army of its sisters is on its way. Their weapon of choice? Formic acid. Many species of ants, especially in a large swarm, will spray this corrosive acid onto their target. It's a chemical burn that can disorient, blind, and injure, slowly wearing down even the toughest of enemies. The ants have no fear. They are expendable. Their strength isn't in their individual power but in their overwhelming numbers. They can swarm, bite, and attack for hours, replacing fallen soldiers with an endless supply of fresh ones. The skirmish begins. A lone scout ant makes contact and the tarantula, unconcerned, simply brushes it away. But that one contact is all it takes. A chemical alarm has been sounded. Within moments, the ground trembles as a hundred, then five hundred, then a thousand ants pour forth from their nest. They don't attack head-on, they surround, they probe, they seek out the tarantula's weaknesses. The tarantula lashes out trying to stomp and bite, but it's hitting air. The ants are too small, too fast, they swarm up its legs, a living, breathing carpet of chitin and acid. The tarantula's fangs are now useless. They are designed for large, single prey, not a thousand moving targets. The ants begin to target the tarantula's vulnerable points, its delicate joints and the sensitive areas around its eyes. They bite, but more importantly, they spray. A continuous rain of corrosive formic acid begins to take its toll. The tarantula's powerful exoskeleton is its defense, but the acid seeps into the cracks and crevices, burning and disorienting it. The tarantula puts up a valiant fight, but the tide has turned. The ants are relentless. Their combined venom is more potent than the tarantula's. Their bites are an endless barrage. Its powerful venom is useless against this unthinking, unified swarm. After a grueling battle, the giant falls. In the end, the tarantula is no match for the collective power of the ants. The victory isn't about strength, it's about strategy. The ants' ability to coordinate, communicate, and apply overwhelming force proved far more effective than the tarantula's brute strength and solo hunting skills. This battle is more than just a struggle for survival, it's a testament to one of nature's most fundamental laws. In the animal kingdom, and perhaps in life itself, Individual might is often no match for the power of a coordinated collective. The tarantula, a solitary hunter, ultimately lost to the overwhelming force of a unified society. So, what did you think of this epic showdown? Let us know in the comments below. Did you expect the ants to win? If you want to see more incredible animal battles and amazing facts, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell.